Welcome to another episode of our Biochem for Dummies. And I am your Biochem intern, Bella Fami from Philsci Hub. So today, ang topic na i-discuss natin is all about carbs or carbohydrate. And we'll talk about simple sugar. So ano nga bang carbohydrate? So ang carbohydrate is the most abundant molecule on earth and it is also called the saccharide. And na-derive siya from the Greek, Greek word saccharon, meaning sugar. So ang carbohydrates ay polyhydroxy aldehydes or ketones. And yung salitang carbohydrate are from two words, carbon and hydrate, with an empirical formula of CH2ON and mainly composed siya ng carbon, oxygen, and hydrogen atoms. So, we'll go over the functions of carbohydrates. So, one, it can function as an energy storage. So, yung plants, nagko-convert ng light energy into monosaccharides and starch na pwedeng magamit ng animals as an energy source. Second one, pwede rin mag-function ng carbohydrates as structure of organisms. So, yung insoluble carbohydrate polymers can serve as structural and protective elements sa cell wall ng bacteria and plants, as well as sa cellulose, sa chitin, and sa bacterial cell wall. One more function ng ating carbohydrate ay bilang isang nucleic acid component. So, yung R sa RNA is ribose, and yung ribose is a carbohydrate. As well as yung D sa DNA is a deoxyribose. And yung deoxyribose is also a carbohydrate. So, ano ba ang mga uses ng carbohydrate? So, one is pwede siyang maging metabolic precursor of virtually all molecules. And second one is common component din siya ng biological membranes, which are glycolipids. And yung glycolipids are carbohydrates linked to lipid molecules. Important component din siya ng cell walls and extracellular structures sa plant, sa animals, and sa bacteria, which is called glycoproteins. And yung glycoproteins naman natin are carbohydrates na covalently bonded sa protein. Ang carbohydrates din ay pwede mag-participate sa recognition between cell types at sa iba pang molecules. Ang carbohydrates ay may classification which are called monosaccharides, disaccharides, oligosaccharides, and polysaccharides. So, we'll go on with monosaccharides, or what we call simple sugar. Tinawag siyang simple sugar, or, or sugar, dahil sa kanyang matamis na lasa. And monosaccharides are building blocks of all carbohydrates. Yung monosaccharides or simple sugars are aldehyde or ketone derivatives ng mga straight-chain polyhydroxy alcohols containing at least three carbon atoms. So, an example is glucose, which is a monosaccharide with an aldehyde unit, which can also be called an aldose. And another one is yung fructose naman natin, which is a monosaccharide with a ketone unit, which can also be called ketose. So, yung aldoses natin have an aldehyde group at one end, while yung mga ketose naman natin contains keto group, which can be found usually at the second carbon, just like in the illustration. Yung monosaccharides natin can be classified by the number of their carbon atoms. So, if may tatlo siyang carbon atoms, it can be called trioses. Or if lima, it can be called pentoses. Or if anin, pwede siyang tawaging hexoses. So, a little bit of information. Ang glucose is the only aldose na most commonly naturally occurring in nature. And all those illustrations of carbohydrates or monosaccharides are written in Fisher projection. So, an example of our common monosaccharide is glucose, which you can associate with insulin because it is also called blood sugar and it is also called dextrose and siya yung most abundant monosaccharide sa ating katawan. And mainly, source din siya ng energy sa ating cells. Makukuha natin yung glucose sa starch legumes, 
the cereal fruit, animal tissues, and the liver. And pwede rin natin makonvert ang glucose into other forms na pwedeng magamit ng ating katawan. Next one is fructose, which is also called levulose. Ito yung sweetest monosaccharide natin and it is also naturally occurring. Makukuha natin siya from honey, fruits, and vegetables. And our next one is galactose. Ang galactose natin is converted to glucose and can be used as an energy source. So, component siya ng glycolipids and glycoprotein. And coupled siya with glucose to make lactose. At sobrang konti lang ng food na nagkakontay ng galactose sa kanyang free state. So now, we'll talk about reactions of carbohydrate. For one, we have to tackle about mutarotation. And mutarotation is yung change sa optical rotation due to the change in equilibrium sa alpha and beta anomers. And yung illustration shows Howard projections, which are planar rings na ating cyclic sugars. For example, ang ating glucose. Ang ating glucose is a six-membered ring composed of carbons. So, ilalabel natin yung ating carbons as 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. So, ang ating alpha carbohydrate configuration ay kung saan ang ating hydroxyl group ng ating carbon 1 ay nagpo-point into the opposite direction ng ating last carbon, which is carbon 6. So, we can call this glucose as alpha glucose. While beta naman ang configuration, if ang hydroxyl group ng ating C1 is in the same direction, as the hydroxyl group ng ating carbon-6. So, we can call that as beta-glucose. So, uh, meron pa tayong D and L designation. And those things involve topics like stereoisomers and enantiomers. So, uh, those things are medyo deeper na into chemistry part. So, you can refer to these videos for more thorough explanations about stereoisomers and enantiomers. So, another action ng carbohydrate involves yung aldehyde group reactions, which are reducing sugars and reducing two polyols. Reducing sugars is the one na nag-reduce ng isang oxidizing agent. For example, Tollens test. So, sa Tollens test, ang ating oxidizing agent ay yung Tollens solution. And ang result is a silver precipitate, which looks like a silver mirror. So, sa positive Tollens test, if present ang ating aldehyde, makikita natin yung result natin na silver precipitate. So, aldoses, and also ketoses can be reduced with sodium borohydride into alditols. So yung alditols, yung linear molecules and also sweet tasting like sorbitol, mannitol, and xylitol. And widely used sila to sweeten sugarless gum and mint. So yung cataract formation is due to sorbitol buildup sa ice ng mga diabetics. So, next natin is alcohol group reactions like acetal formations and esterification. So, if we combine aldehyde plus alcohol, ang lalabas ay himay acetal or if we combine ketone plus alcohol, ang lalabas ay himay ketal. And pentoses and hexoses can cyclize as the ketone or yung alde aldehyde ay nagre-react with the hydroxyl group. While yung phosphoric esters naman natin ay formed by transfer of phosphate group mula sa ating adenosine triphosphate or ATP. And important siya in metabolism ng sugars to provide energy. 
another reaction would include glycosidic bond formation. So yung bond ng anomeric carbon which contains our aldehyde or our ketone group with uh, an OR group is called glycosidic bond formation. And uh, ito yung basis natin for formation of polysaccharides and oligosaccharides. One example would be glycosidic linkages. So, yung anomeric carbon ng isang sugar to the hydroxyl group of another can form an alpha or a beta glycosidic linkage. Which brings us to disaccharides. So, ating disaccharides are short chain of monosaccharide units na pinag-join ng glycosidic bonds. And sugars din sila containing two monosaccharide units. So, yung essential disaccharides include maltose, which is a cleavage product of starch. Isa siyang disaccharide with an alpha-1,4 glycosidic link. Yung alpha-1,4 glycosidic link is between sa carbon-1 and carbon-4 hydroxyl ng dalawang glucose. So, para siyang glucose plus glucose. And then, we have sucrose, which is commonly called table sugar. So, it is a disaccharide with an alpha-1,2 glycosidic link. So, yung alpha-1,2 glycosidic link niya is between the carbon-1 and the carbon-4 hydroxyl of glucose and fructose. So, it's like glucose plus fructose. Another one is the very familiar na lactose, which is called milk sugar. Isa siyang disaccharide with a beta naman, 1,4 glycosidic link. So, yung beta-1,4 glycosidic link niya is from the anomeric hydroxyl ng galactose. So, siya ay galactose plus glucose. Another one is yung cellulobios natin. Ang cellulobios is a product ng cellulose breakdown. So, isang glucose is actually flip over relative dun sa isa, as you can see. So, it is a disaccharide with the beta-1,4 glycosidic link. We're gonna talk about oligosaccharides and polysaccharides in the next video.